Hello everybody, I'm Sparks20, welcome to Play Express. Man, it's been a while, and I'm sorry it's been so freaking long since I've actually done one of these videos. By that I mean fanfiction readings, uh, so sorry about that, I, uh, actually, uh, due to the fact that I wanted to keep, uh, Punk Express to go running, if you don't know about that, there's been a link in the description on every one of these where you can download an mp3 version of the reading if you want to take it with you wherever you go, where you don't have internet, something like that, whatever you choose to do with it. Anyway, um, I was having some issues with, um, Mediafire, so that kind of sums it up, I couldn't upload stuff. So that's the reason that I haven't really been doing these readings because I want to keep that going in case anyone does use that. Anyway, um, I should be getting I should be getting something really special out for you guys for Fourth of July, which was yesterday, <laughs> um, and a 20 subscribers and 1,000 video views uh, special soon. Even though I'll probably have like. By then, I'll probably have 2,000 video views and 40 subscribers, but I'll have to get the crew together. Well, without any more wait, allow me to get to the glory and meat of this handsome little video we got going here. Although it's more of just you stare at a picture or listen, uh, you pick what you do with it. Um, anyway, uh, let us continue um, with our reading. The Magic of a Rainbow, Chapter 3, Rest and Relaxation Ugh, Rainbow moaned as she collapsed on the floor. Are we done yet? Almost. Just have to put this book over there and done, Twilight said triumphantly. Thanks, Celestia. I think my muscles are about to give out, Rainbow said as she sprawled on the floor. Yeah, me too, Twilight said, as she sat next to Rainbow Dash. So, you up for some R&R? &R? Some what? Rest and relaxation. Like, uh... Rainbow quickly thought about what to say. Sleeping, eating, going to a restaurant with me. What was that last one? Twilight asked. Not sure if she heard Rainbow right. Eating? No, the one after that. Going to a restaurant with me? Rainbow said, while blushing slightly. Uh... Twilight mumbled, scratching up her face in a vain attempt to the figure if Rainbow was joking or not. Just before she could ask, there was a knock at the... Ch ended up breaking the awkward silence that had started to form. I got it, Rainbow shouted as she bolted toward as she bolted to the door. She opened it, expecting a random pony to be standing on the other side. But much to her annoyance, it was Spike. Hey Rainbow, what are you doing here? Spike said rather preoccupied with the handful of gems. I was helping Twilight with her chores while you were out wooing Rarity. I wasn't wooing her. Spike quickly hid the gems he had in his hands. Spike has claws, not hands. I was helping her look for gems. Sure you were. Is Twilight here? Spike asked, rather annoyed with how Rainbow was acting. Yeah, she's in the kitchen, I think, Rainbow said, while waving a hoof toward the kitchen door. Okay, thanks. Oh, wait a second, Spike said, as she stopped suddenly, spinning around to face Rainbow. With a devious grin on his face. What? 
Rambo said, Rambo asked, rising, raising an eyebrow. Rarity mentioned something going on with you and Twilight. Did she? Rambo whimpered, afraid of what Spike was about to do. And if Rarity had told any more ponies. It looks like I wasn't the only one wooing some pony, Spike said as he narrowed his eyes at Rambo. You can't tell anybody, Rambo begged, afraid of what would happen to her re reputation if every pony knew she was interested in a mare. What's stopping me? Spike asked, attempting to blackmail Rambo. I'll tell every pony that you. I'll tell every pony that you love Rarity, Rambo said her confidence returning slightly. You wouldn't dare, Spike, Spike, death. Spike def said defensively. I would dare, Rambo said, as she went face, as she went face to face with Spike. The two of them stood there, staring at each other for a good ten minutes before Twilight came out of the kitchen with sandwiches and iced tea. Twilight quickly sat them down on the table and walked over to the two of them, giving both giving both of them confused looks. What are you doing? Ah the two of the two yelled in surprise. Spike jumped back jumped back landing on his gems, which made him yell out in pain. And Rambo flew straight up, whacking her head on the ceiling, nearly knocking her out. Twilight jumped back at their shot Twilight jumped back at their shout and cut and couldn't help but laugh as at as the two of them got back up. With Spike pulling a Ruby out of his backside and Rambo wincing as she rubbed the top of her head. What was that for? Rambo asked, still in a lot of pain. Yeah, Spike added, staring at the gem that he that that had been broken into. I was just asking what you two were doing. Twilight said, barely managing to hold in her giggles. Oh, uh, Spike and Rambo both said, giving each other worried looks. So, what were you guys doing? Nothing, Rambo said quickly, her face scrunching up and her face scrunching up slightly as she tried to make it believable. Yeah, we were doing nothing, nothing at all, Spike added, his eyes sh shooting back and forth. Twilight looked at the two of them and started laughing, unable to hold any more. It's not funny, Spike and Rambo shouted in unison. Whatever. Whatever. I'm going... I'm going over to Rarities," Spike said, as he picked up, as he picked up, as he picked up what gems he had left. Okay, have fun," Twilight said, somewhat happy that her that her alone time with Rainbow would continue. After Spike shut the door, she ran over to Rainbow, afraid that Rainbow might have gotten a concussion. Her horn began to glow as she checked for any serious damage. But when nothing showed up, she smiled happily. You okay, Twy? Rambo asked, somewhat confused as to what as to why she was smiling. Oh, yeah, I'm fine, Twilight said, snapping out of her slight start 
snapping out of her slight sl snapping out of her slight stupor. Want some lunch? Yeah, I'm starving, Rainbow said. She shot over to the table, eager to begin eating. Those are some good sandwiches, Rainbow said. La Rainbow said lazily, rubbing her belly slightly. Yeah, you sure did eat a lot of them, Twilight said with a slight giggle. So, about that R&R, &R, Rainbow said as she raised an eyebrow at Twilight. Which part? The sleeping, the eating, or the restaurant? Well, we just ate, and it's too early to sleep, so I'm gonna have to s say the restaurant. Hmm? Twilight said as she tapped her chin. I don't know. Come on, Twy. It'll be fun, I promise. Rambo said, worried worriedly. We can even go we can even go to Canterlot if you want. Would this just be a girls' night out thing or Twilight asked in a somewhat sin seductive tone. <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be, Rambo said, ec excited by how Twilight had asked. Well, then I guess the date, Twilight said, smiling at Rambo. Yes, Rambo shouted, flying into the air, and then becoming embarrassed. I mean, cool, that sounds fun. Well, Rambo, where are we going to go? Twilight asked, putting Rainbow on the spot. Uh, Rainbow muttered, not sure of what to say. Donut Joe's? Sure. I've never been there before, Twilight said, actually happy that Rainbow had suggested suggested Joe's. Now I need to get ready. Oh, uh, sure. Rambo said, somewhat, flust somewhat flustered. I'll wait for you down, I'll wait for you down here. Actually, I think you should, actually, I think you should meet me at the restaurant, Twilight said, in a, Mo monotone voice. Why? Rainbow asked, not sure what Twilight was is what Twilight is planning. It's a surprise, Twilight said, as she began to head up the stairs. <clears throat> Twilight said, as she began to head up to her room. See you at eight. Yeah, Rainbow said, as she went toward the door. I'll be there, I promise. Rimba quickly shut the door and flew towards her pl her place, eager to get ready for their f for her first date. Meanwhile, Twilight had quickly ran back to the main floor to get Rainbow's feather. She'll be surprised, all right, Rainbow said devilishly. Deviously, as she grinned at the feather floating in front of her face. Rainbow was imp 
Rainbow was impatiently waiting at the t at her table. Luck luckily, Joe had re remembered her her from the incident on the train, so he gave her a private table in the corner of the restaurant. She was tapping her hoof on the table, silently wishing that Twilight would show up already. Rambo was about to get up and look for Twilight when she when she heard some pony coming towards her ta coming towards her. She quickly looked up, expecting to see Twilight, but instead saw Soren from the Wonderbolts coming towards her. Hey Rainbow. Hey, it's hey, it's Rainbow Dash, right? He asked when he saw her when he saw her look up. Uh yeah, Rainbow replied, confused and slightly worried. You here on a date? He asked, obviously noticing how her hair was slightly done up. Uh, yeah. Who's the lucky stallion? Soren asked, jokingly. Uh, Rambo swallowed hard, not sure what to say. Lucky mare? Soren asked, noticing her hesitation. Rather than reply, Rambo just dropped her head in shame. There's no, there's no way I'd accept, there's no way they'd accept me now, Rambo shouted in her head. They'd never accept the Philly Fuller. When Ram, when, when Ram, when Rambo heard Soren laugh, her head quickly shot up. Soren quickly stopped laughing and said, don't worry, I don't think any pony is going to care which way which way you go. Uh, Rambo asked, stupidly, not sure what just happened. Can I trust you to keep a secret? <clears throat> Can I trust you to keep a secret? Soren asked. Le leaning forward towards Rainbow. She quickly nodded her head, eager to find out what Soren was going to say. The truth is... The truth is, surprise you know her right. The truth is, surprise you know her right. He paused to see if Rainbow had nodded, which she did. Well, she goes both ways. What? Rainbow half shouted. Yeah. Soren nodded. So Soren rubbed the back of his head. There have been some pretty crazy. Uh, this, there, there have been some pretty crazy. There have been some pretty crazy after parties thanks to that, but, uh, there have been some pretty crazy after parties thanks to that, but, uh, I, I can't, I can't, I can't tell any pony, I can't tell any pony, I know, Rainbow said, but, just one question. Uh, sure. Ask away, Zorn said. Do you all, do all the Wonderbolts get involved? Rambo asked, deviously. Uh, yeah. There was, there was this one time when Spit, there was this one time when Spitfire Soren quickly caught himself. No, wait, I can't, I can't tell you, or else they'll kind of kill me. 
Okay, well, see you later, Rambo said as she sat back in her seat. Yeah, have a good night, Soren said as he made his way toward the table, towards a table stacked with piles of every shape and size. As he headed towards the table stacked with pies of every shape and size. Rainbow quickly laughed to herself, not realizing how late it was. 9.30. Rainbow started to worry. What's taking her so long? Hey, Rainbow, Twilight said, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Uh, oh, uh, hey, Twilight. Rainbow trailed off. Noticing the feather in Twilight's mane. Is that mine? Yeah. Do you like it? Twilight said as she as she brushed it as she brushed it with her hoof. I read somewhere that this that this something I read that I read somewhere that this is something peg Pegasus's something Pegasi I read somewhere I read somewhere that this is something Pegasus couples do usually do so I thought you know Twilight Rambo said in a monotone voice yeah, Rambo? Twilight asked, afraid that she might have ruined the night by wearing the feather. I love you, Rambo said as she pulled Twilight into a hug. Thanks, Rambo, Twilight said happily as she nestled into Rambo's neck. They sat there for a few minutes. Rainbow opening her eyes for a second, seeing Soren smiling at her. She quickly turned bright red and released Twilight. So, ready for dinner? So, ready for- So, ready for dinner? Rainbow asked as they both sat down. Two of them ended up spending the entire night at Donut Joe's, talking about random things. Ranging, ranging from the Wonder Bolts to Twilight Studies, they even talked about some embarrassing moments that they've had, and that they've seen. It was clo it was closing time before they left which took quite a lot of pushing from Joe. As the two of them were more forced on, fo well, the two of them were more focused on each other than anything else. After being kicked out of Joe's, they headed back to Ponyville. Arriving in the early hours of the morning, no pony but, no pony but them, Soren and Joe had any idea what happened that night and that's just the and that's just the way they wanted it they parted ways at the library giving each other a loving hug before saying good night twilight twilight went to her room and put the feather on the nightstand quickly falling asleep happy that she could now express her feelings for rainbow Meanwhile, Rainbow flew across Ponyville, doing rolls and turns, her excitement causing her to nearly perform a sonic rainbow as she passed over Town Hall. When she got home, she quickly ran up to her room and jumped on the bed, and almost in instantly fell asleep. The two of them were happier 
than they'd ever been before. But how, but how, but how were you think, but how are they going to tell every pony about it? Okay, guys. Okay. <laughs> Yay, I'm happy I did that. I'm happy we finally got done with this chapter. Um, and I bet every pony else is happy too. Anyway, time for something that we do every single time in our little readings here, and that is the uh, well, I'm unprepared. The um. comments yes we do those things they're called comments they're the things at the bottom of every fan fiction thingy yeah we gotta do those and i'm prepared because they don't even have the damn website open Ugh. well better than better to be unprepared than not well i don't know i don't know anymore i just don't know i just don't know anymore <sighs> okay if I can get to the top of these comments, okay. <clears throat> huh, that's cool. Fox Sa Fox Sama says the story could have been really good, but it seems that every chapter is rushed and the dialogue is lacking. It's a little bit like that, but... Yeah. Smith Wesson says... How the came to ter How the came to terms with their feelings was rushed. Okay, how they came to terms with their feelings was rushed. It was all, I love you. No awkward moments like most love confessions. Either way, great chapter. Keep it up. Get a few more of these and then we'll go. J. Cano. J. Canna, I guess. J. Canna? I don't know. Um, says, Still fave pairing, so this is still a wonderful story. Even though I completely forgot which one of them is was, so I though I completely forgot which one of them is, though I completely forgot which one of them it was until about halfway through. I have quite a few fave fave stories, so it's hard to keep track. Also, I did find the encounter with Soren a bit unnecessary it doesn't seem like it can go very far beside an a, an aperna t okay i'm not reading that of an after part <laughs> of an after party <laughs> wow okay which twilight would which Twilight would never be into. <laughs> well, um, if you want to read what I refused to read, read just now, um, this is comment number six on the row of comments on the chapter chapter three, um, by J K. J J Kana or something, J Kana. I don't know. And the last one is for the by um, the last one. Uh, fourth plot says, make use there, make use there a lot. I don't know how to say that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed chapter three of the magic of a rainbow, which is rest and relaxation. Honestly, I do have to say. Though it took this guy like two chapters, three, to actually get an interesting story, 
I like it. I like this. This is really good. Um, good work to you and all. Um, anyway, I believe I must go now so I can get this video edited and on the little YouTubes where you're watching it now. Anyway, um, again, in the description you'll find a thing that is titled um, Pony Express to Go, and then in that you can just click that link and on the page where it shows recent uploads you can actually click that link in there so if you don't want to even click on the video so you can just click that and instantly download it it's from Mediafire it's a um, Google URL shortener link so it's safe and everything I don't like my uh, Adfly or anything else I like shortened URLs because they help a lot anyway um, but let's I want to see more awesomeness like what happened with chapter one of the magic of a rainbow 77 freaking views holy shit man that was awesome anyway um again i do want to thank you guys for everything you've done so far and it's been a, been a really good couple of months here on pony express and i i really hope to keep it up and i hope you guys keep supporting us and uh Leave some comments. I mean, has, I want to see you guys comment and leave some feedback on what we do and what I do. Tell me what you want to see read and how you want me to read it. If you want more serious readings from me or you want the more um, out of whack, screwed up, funny stuff that me and Gunslinger do, because we're working on him right now. Once he gets back, we'll continue Rainbow Factory. Sorry about that. Not my fault. Um, and if you want more games, like I did Story of the Blink Flanks a couple days a day ago, yesterday, and what you want to see, like if there's a game you want to see, if you want to see some Minecraft stuff, if you want to see uh, Terraria, some other weird games, I don't know, anything you want, it's up to you guys. Just leave a comment, PM us, whatever you want. Um, like I said, it's up to you. Um, we're actually getting some more video editing done. I'm doing some more editing, taking a little more time out to actually work on the stuff because I've got a reason to now. I'm sitting here looking at the home page of my YouTube account right now, and we got freaking 20 subscribers and almost 2K views. I mean, we're getting up there. We're getting good. We need to take this to a little bit more of a prep for a bit. A little bit more of a professional level, but still keep it not quite serious. Like things like this, like super serious stuff, I don't really like doing that much. But anyway, I'm not going to drag on longer than I have to. I hope you guys had a wonderful time here, and I'll see you guys later. I'm SparkX20, and this is Pony Express. Have a nice day.